Hey guys, how's it going? It's Canadian Gear Addict coming at you with another video. I uh, bought a few flashlights over the months where I was kind of like off and not really doing reviews and stuff, but uh, I'm going to start with a few of them that uh, I have here and that I like. Is, uh, they're more EDC stuff, not huge throwers or huge fledge lights and stuff. Stuff I carry on an everyday basis. So, here is a jet beam. This is called the E10R. It uses the XPL High. Uh, LED. This is the box, if you will. I saved the box. I usually don't, but for the video, I saved it. Uh, what did this cost me? Twenty with a code that they had going on. Twenty-two dollars Canadian, I think, shipped, which was pretty good, I thought, uh, for the light and stuff. So, as you can tell, the packaging's not great, you know, pure China. But you're buying a budget light, so who cares? Uh, there's the box. The goodies in it. The box states, you know how many lumens it is, uh, FO1 standard, how far it goes, how many runtime you can get, all that crap anyways. The box sucks. What else is new? Who cares? They give you a El Cheapo micro USB cable and I'll tell you why. This light is rechargeable. Meaning you don't have to take off all the goodies to charge it. If I remember correctly, yeah, here it is. It's right here. So there's the port right there. And it's pretty cool. You could, you could drop the battery first, but yeah. You could just keep it in there, keep your battery in there. Do I ever use these parts? No, I actually don't ever. I use my Nightcore chargers. I actually have an X-Tar charger I'm reviewing right now that I really like. So that'll be coming up in a video as well. So do I use this? No. So nice to have. I guess. I don't know how slow it is. It's probably slow as balls. But there's two O rings, extra O rings, pocket clip, which I'll show you is the stupidest design ever. Your standard lanyard, you know, nothing crazy. All the Chineseium lights come with that. Warranty card, right? Certificate of approval. This product has passed quality inspection according to the requirement and and be approved for sale. Wow. Chinglish at its finest. Whatever the fuck that means. All right, operation manual. This is what you actually want to read. Um, tell you a little about the light. The light claims to be 650 lumens on a 14500. If it is, I don't know. But I'm gonna have that there up on the screen for you guys to look at. So there's all the specs. You can hit pause. What I like about the light and why I bought it is this. Oh, let me show you the stupid thing first. <laughs> so this pocket clip, very cool. It doesn't clip on, it actually goes over the tubular design, which I thought, hey, that's great, right? There's no way for it to fall off, nothing. Well, the clip itself is nice. You know, sturdy, not too strong, not too loose, but this is the shittiest part. You see that? It's like they give you a lanyard hole or something, although there is one up here, and it sucks. It rotates, it, it protrudes, it's uncomfy, it's just stupid. So I'm gonna grind that off, actually, so I can still use the pocket clip. I'm not a fan of it at all. Um, I don't like it. End of story. It's stupid. So here's a light. Now I have a 14500 in it. I run 14500s in any AA light that can accept it. Have I screwed up and put one in that one that can't? <laughs> yeah, I have. Not cool. Burnt out the LED. It actually blew it up. There was a little hole in it. Anyway, smooth reflector. There's the LED. What I really like about this light, it's no frills light. It doesn't have a back switch, it's got the side switch, but it's basically, it's on low. There you go. Let me shut the lights off. So here we go. There's your low, your high. Oh, sorry, sorry. It went the other way around because of the mode. So high, mid, low, double click for strobe. That's it. Nothing hold to shut off. Nothing crazy it's great for EDC you don't have to remember all these modes you don't have to turn a tail switch turn it back blah 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 I think it's great for what it is very small here's my hand do I have a huge hand not really I don't have a small hand but uh, I like the knurling at the back it's, it's aggressive it's nice fits real nice in the hand um, I quite like it it's uh, it's nice the only thing I recommend it does have a lockup mode I don't like the lockup mode in it what I do is I turn it just a little bit. The tail cap, as you see, and it won't come on. When you want it on, you turn it, boom, turn it on. So there's your low. 
your mid, your high. Anyways, it's got a circle in the manual of what modes are what and how it turns them on. There it is right there. Alright. But anyways, if you guys want, I bought it at GearBest. If I remember, I'll put the uh, link in the description. I'm not getting paid by them or anything. It's just a cool EDC light that I like for 20 bucks. You put a 14500 in it and it literally lights up the night. It's great. Uh, not a huge floor, more a flutter. Uh, but it does a great job. So uh, I'll be testing this at night and look out for that video. So this is the JetBeam E10R. They actually call it the EDC series. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.